Okay, today is your slab episode. This is all about slabs. And as a result, I've got a special guest on the episode. It is Anna Hazelnut. Hi. We are going to set the world's longest indoor slab. I reckon an hour to set this thing. First person to successfully tick it buys dinner for the rest of the week. <laughs> up, 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 up. I'm so push. inflexible. <laughs> It doesn't have to be black either. We can like change into purple now. We can make it like a rainbow. <laughs> that was so good. That was such a good problem. <laughs> As you might imagine or know, she is a slab expert and we are going to set the world's longest indoor slab. We think. Yeah, we're gonna do it. <laughs> we Googled it, can't find anything longer and we do have a completely open blank wall behind us, and this is the plan. We came up with three main styles of slab climbing. There's the friction slab, which is what you might find in Yosemite, Joshua Tree, La Pedriza. It's a lot of palm smearing. The friction slab's gonna have palming, smearing. We're gonna throw in a down climb and a mantle in there. The next type of slab climbing is edging, and this is kind of your like hard crimps your high steps, little holds. So we're gonna pair edging with the piano match and a high step rock over. And then we have our third style of slab climbing, which is comp style. And this is what you will see at comps. So we have a thunder cling or a thunder cut and a step through. So kind of like think dynamic movements on slabs. And those are our three styles and all the moves we're trying to incorporate in our long slab boulder problem. Should we give ourselves an hour Ooh. I reckon an hour to set this thing. Mm. So we'll go hyper productive and we'll just splash create slab creativity on the wall. Yeah. And we'll try and stick to that plan. I think we can do that. We have a good outline, beautifully drawn. First person to successfully tick it buys dinner for the rest of the week. For the rest of the <laughs> week? <laughs> okay, the rest of the two weeks. Maybe probably until I leave, really. It okay, should just be on. a full. <laughs> We'll commit. <laughs> you gotta spit too. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from me. Get away from me. <laughs> right, let's do it. So we'll kind of pin them in position initially, then tweak and see how they visually look. I don't know if that's gonna be good enough. We might need a, another hold on top of that one. I was thinking, Tom, that maybe this will be really hard to step on. Yeah. So we might need to put like a little thingy thing. Oh yeah, yeah, actually. Look how nice this is for thumbs. Isn't that nice? Uh, I wasn't gonna use the word nice, but go on. Cause look, that's like, ooh. I guess you could just pinch it, but same idea. Have a foot there to kind of jump into a hold to yeah. lead into maybe that a jump. Sense. We're gonna do a double dynamic. Yeah. It doesn't have to be black either. We can like change into purple now. We can make it like a rainbow. What, co what color do you wanna go to afterwards? Let's go to purple. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna want something to kind of catch. So this could be a cool foot stopper. Yeah. Like here. Ah, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we have no time to lose. Okay, so we throw into here. Safety pull. Bomb. And now we're here. And yeah. this is a really good like set up something for a thing here. We're gonna have to come out of an unstable press, aren't we? Like we're in a stem. So something that's like pushing hard, come in and match it. So maybe like that should happen here. This is exciting. Do you like slab? No. And then, and then this is where we're gonna put like a high foot. Right Does that feel reasonably high? Uh, is that reasonably high? Is yeah. it too high? It's we no, can no, try, no, it's we'll, all good. We'll try it out. No, no, it's good. I'm, I'm liking it. Okay. And so you have the rock over now. Um, you know what we could do too, Tom? Is for a rock over, like have like some side pull that's really bad at some point here to finish like the stand up. Okay, so we stand up and then I think we do one of those like nice like rainbow float moves. <laughs> Oh, right, check see. that out. Could have like a series of these going across the wall, like a pretty pattern. Yeah. Or do you think that's too yeah, much? Yeah, or we could do something like funky where we could do like edge to edge. So we can have like, like little, 
like a little pairing, like a little bap. You can turn around to like teddy bear ears. You can make a teddy bear. Oh, there's so you many can Make a rabbit. Okay, okay. Slab rabbit. Um, you a, okay, well. Oh, I can make a box. Oh, uh, yeah, like, like, like that? Yeah. Okay. So we've come down from here, we've mantled down, got down to the base here, or the base there. And we probably put a foot up. So, foot up, yeah. And we're gonna need some kind of, ooh, some kind of palm that way, maybe. To oh, push palm across. into this palm. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm liking that. I've never set a down mantle, so I wonder. I feel like we want a down mantle on this side. Yeah. But for this move, we might need, oh, I guess. Do you work out how to do it upwards first? Like, how would you so do like, it upwards? So, like, I guess mantle? you would mantle and grab that, is the idea. Oh, it's gonna be oh, into in those, the... isn't it? Like. Oh, yeah. So we need to bulk this out. The only thing is, I think we can't go there because with that, you'll just stand on that and go straight over to that. It'll be I think cheap. we have to make them go low. I talk about them. It's like <laughs> it's I'm us. talking about us as ah! like a third party. I think they'll struggle a lot with this, <laughs> especially in their uh, their old shoes that I know they're definitely going to have brought today. Yeah, they brought shoes with holes in them, actually. Yeah. So they're definitely gonna have problems. Kind of getting there, isn't it? I almost feel like we're in a beta testing phase. We're safe now. Full safety mode. Deployed. Full safety mode. Yeah, go on. Go on. Okay, more yeah, that energy. Looks, yeah, that looks yeah. Right, yeah. Okay, gotta jump in and then do that. <laughs> we have two foot swaps. We just said the same move twice, Tom, in a row here. Oh, uh, with a foot swap? Yeah. Oh, you have to do it on that as well? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Hips in. <laughs> this is very exciting. These moves are really cool. <laughs> to generate from that. Come on. I, I do think it goes. Oh. <laughs> if we had maybe, we could try it. Thumb over there? Yeah. Oh, <sighs> that's there. Yeah, okay. <gasps> you just like that's did a, that That's an move. easier move for me. That second one is easier for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> On that mark there, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but closer. Yeah. Tip for doing these like comp style moves is uh, like I started trying to learn these style of moves maybe like two years ago and I was really, really, really bad at them. I probably still look relatively bad. But the trick is, is that for momentum moves, if you can't quite get the position, it's just run at it from the floor. So if you're thinking, I want to be in a perfect position here to hit that and do a step through, then rather than trying to get onto the problem and climb into it, just come from the floor and step through and try and catch the hold. It's a really good way of learning how to do that move a little bit easier. Yeah, I think you taught me that or something when we sat here last. Oh yeah, did didn't one. you? Yeah. And that's yeah. why like for this one, I did it from the floor as well. It's, yeah. Oh, it's, it's such a good technique. Okay. Yeah, you do that so well. I can just go for a bit more momentum. Yeah, there you go. Woo. Yeah, did it really easy then. Yeah, that was good. Okay, momentum into the corner. <laughs> My foot slipped. Good. And just like that one move on Cory Man, you just rock into it. Yeah, and then grab that one. Come on. 
Oh, that's a rock over and a half. Crikey. Oh, that holds. Yeah, I think we need to... Controversial. Anna Hazelnut saying more positive on a slab. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, you angled it like... I shall register this moment and hold it <laughs> tight <laughs> for at least a year. <laughs> Did you, you heard that, didn't you? Yeah. I'm always the one that's getting gunned for like saying that something's a really tiny hold. And I get back, that's a jug. Come on. Good. Come on. Yes! All right, come on. Yes. Oh God, that's horrible. No, you chose that one. Can you match up with your right hand? Come on. Oh, yeah, there's something durable there. So you can see that the hold hit there and scooted right off. Um, this one's the worst side. This one's not as bad, but you can see it's coming through. But it should be fine. It's just like this left one that I have to navigate around today. Come on, Tom. What? Come on. It's strangely scary. <laughs> okay, you got this. Can you get your foot That's down weird. to the hold? Wedge it. Yeah, come on. Good. Oh, that spins. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Calm down. Oh, did we not screw that back? Yeah, yeah, it's not screwed. Just stand right in the middle of it and it won't spin. Oh, you know what? We learned the down mantle by climbing it up. Yeah. That, I think, is the trick. Nice. Maybe the tip tip. Oh. One big push. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> come on. Foot up. Come on. <laughs> Up, 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 up. I'm so push. inflexible. <laughs> <laughs> like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay, tell me where that foot is. Uh, another four inches. Two inches, one inch. You're there. Go on, go on. Yeah. Boom. That's the move. That's cool. That's a tricky little move. Well, like that. <laughs> no, 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 you can't put your foot up into here. Oh, right, okay. Oh. 
The slab starts with our Compi Thundercling feature. And what's really cool about this is that it's a lot about body positioning rather than maybe thumb strength or whatever, I don't know, whatever you think when you think of Thunderclings and Thundercuts. I think that's also what you say. So you just wanna keep your body as close to the wall as possible and really keep pressing up with these moves. It also has a jumping element to it and so for this, because it is more of a technical jump rather than a pure dynamic lunge, because you are off of Thunderclings, bad holds, I really like to focus on landing my foot in the right spot and making sure both hands are going to the really good hold. For dynamic step through comp style moves, I think the main things that you wanna pay attention to is one, generating as much momentum as possible on the move. So think of your hips or your center of gravity as like a ball that you're trying to throw in the direction of your finishing point. So it needs to go all the way to the finishing point. Next is what you're gonna do with your hands and your eyes. So before you start and you're setting up the move, concentrate on the footholds and where your first part of your movement is going. As soon as you've clocked that and you've started the movement, then focus your eyes on the finishing point. So footholds with eyes first, but once you start the movement, look for your finishing point. Next, we have the edging section, and the two key moves on this are the piano match and the high step. So for a piano ma match, basically that means you have one hand on the hold, but you want your other hand on there. So you slowly introduce the other hand while you lift off the hand that was already on there. The key tips for this is to go slow and just to make sure that you're kind of slowly working finger by finger your hands into the position that you want to be in. So the best thing to do with high step moves is instead of looking at your next hand hold, I think it's important to get your body over the foot first. So rather than locking off and just trying to strength through a move, just focus on going the direction of your foot and getting your body completely over your over that foot because that'll put you in a good place of balance. It'll be more efficient, less energy inducing. Like you don't have to use as much energy for it, it's more efficient. And from there, you can then step in the direction that you want to. Mantles on slabs or on vertical technical, technical terrain are all about getting your chest and your shoulders into the wall and over your hands. So think of your hands as being your base of support, much like your feet are typically on normal climbing. So once you get your hands established in either a narrow or a wide position, get your chest really open and rock right into the wall with your chest and your shoulders open. A key feature to getting good at this style of climbing is to learn it in both an upwards and a downwards movement and also work on your shoulder and chest flexibility because if you can't get close to the wall, it's really hard to do this movement efficiently. And lastly, to finish off our boulder slab, we have a really friction based slab. So this includes a lot of palming and a lot of smearing. So for palming, what you wanna do is make sure your body is already in the direction of where you want to go. So for example, in this move, rather than focusing on the arms again, it's more about getting your body position, popping that hip where you wanna go and then pressing it out. And for smearing, it, it's really like hard to keep your foot on the hold if it's like this, if it's um, perpendicular to the wall. So really drop your heels for smears and that will really help you um, get up funky movements with really bad feet. Should I try it? Yeah, yeah, go for I'm it. I'm worried yeah. about the second part. So for yeah, me, yeah. it's no, gonna go, be let's like- go for it. For, for me, I think that that's gonna be the same as- Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Good. Come on. Yeah, that's it. Rock it out, rock it out. Yeah, nice. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, 
せえ<笑> Really good This is when you know it's long. <laughs> Shaking out on a slab. Come on, Anna. That's it, really. Yeah, 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 good, good. Tell me. Uh, four inches, three inches, two inches, one inch, and that up to that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stick with it. That's it. Press it out. One inch and yep, you're there. Come on, nice and steady. Nice and steady. Come on, come on. Boom! <laughs> Good work. That was so good. That was such a good problem. I thought. And first go. First go, yeah. Damn it, you put the pressure on now. <laughs> Are you ready to Full buy me pressure. dinners? <laughs> Full pressure. Holy smokes. Have you thought about where you're going to go for dinner? Uh, yeah, ooh. I think you should, we should go out to that place, that restaurant you were talking about. Dinner on you. Oh, that place? Mm. Yeah, okay, that's Is fine. it expensive? Uh, yeah, it is moderately expensive. <laughs> Depends how many dishes she orders. <laughs> I'm a hungry, hungry at both. Yeah! Oh. Come on! Good. Never want to do that move again. Good. You're in it, you got this. Keep going, just keep going. Adapt. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, you did that really well. I thought you had that, the rest of that. Okay. I would like to note that I would never ever normally do any kind of fist bump if it wasn't for an American accent in the room. Wait, y'all don't do fist bumps? No. I would never do a fist bump with a British climber or person. So but suddenly like an American accent gets in the room and like this sort Wait. of like kind of okay, become okay. So has everyone just been fist bumping me because I'm American? You're American, American. yeah. You don't fist, How it's not you? like, oh, nice, let's go. No, I would not fist bump Pete, anyone. But I fist, pump, pump, fist bumped Pete and ever, because I'm American. Yeah. Why did I not know that? We just don't do that. Good. Good, reach. Yes, 
really good. Breathe. Inch by inch, get there. Yes. Keep at it, you're good. You're on. I award you the winner. <laughs> oh, good effort. I think that was my best. Right, I guess you won that one. I guess I get dinners for the uh, next two. Another <laughs> like challenge lost. Another challenge lost. Well, I hope you have all enjoyed that, everyone. Uh, that was our slab testing challenge day. Longest slab in the world. Longest slab in the world. And slab indoor boulder traverse. Actually, that's very true. <laughs> yeah, because uh, we've yeah. climbed longer slabs than this. Yeah, that's very true. But the the principle behind it is, even if you can't set your own stuff indoors, creative stuff like this is incredibly valuable to your climbing. So what me and Anna did there was just, you know, make up a framework under which we wanted to set a challenge for the session. We came up with all these different moves and just tried to create them on the wall and then spent, you know, an hour testing and then an hour trying to do it and link it all together. And it's just really good for your climbing, isn't it? It was great, especially like from the very beginning where we're like, okay, what, what kinds of slabs are there? Like that's where we started. It's like, well, there's the comp slabs, edging and friction. And then like we went from there, like what are really good slab moves? It was just a really cool process actually through and through. Yeah. Oh, and we did it so successfully. Like we got every single element of slab, it seems like that we could cram into here. I mean, I'm sure there's more elements we could have tried to do, but this is such a good like tasting palette. Yeah. 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 Tasting palette for everyone. So make sure you check out the other videos that we have also done on footwork technique in particular. Uh, go and have a look at stuff that Anna has also got on her channel. She is really, really good with flexibility and slab climbing in particular. So some good like trad outdoor stuff on there, indoor sessions and everything like that. Um, and otherwise we will see you in very soon.